In Photoshop Elements 9, the Spot Healing Brush is now content aware. I use the Spot Healing Brush to remove small unwanted objects in my photos, to remove telephone wires, and to fix photos that need to be restored that have dust and scratches. Let's look at our first photo. And on the toolbar, select the Spot Healing Brush tool. In the options bar, choose a small, round, hard brush, a little bit smaller than the object you want to replace. Click Content Aware and check Sample All Layers. Whenever I do spot healing, I do the healing on a blank layer above the layer that I'm fixing. In your Layers palette, click to create a new layer above the current layer. And we can do all our healing on this layer because we've checked sample all layers and Photoshop Elements will look at the pixels on all layers to make the changes. On your photo, lightly paint over the fly and watch while the spot healing tool does its magic. If there's any of the fly left, just click on that spot and it looks like the fly was never there. Let's now remove some telephone wires. First, let's create a new layer above the current layer to make our changes. And to remove each of these wires, which are in a straight line, I'm going to click at one end of the wire, press the Shift key, and then click again at the other end of the telephone wire, and magically it's gone. Click once, press Shift, click again, and the wire's gone. Let's also remove this bird by clicking on it. And we'll increase the size of the brush a little bit by pressing the right bracket and get rid of a little bit of this lens flare in the corner. On this photo, before I use the spot healing brush, I want to remove some of these dust and scratches. And to do that, I'm going to do it on a duplicate layer. So I'm going to drag the background layer over the Create a New Layer icon to duplicate it. Then from the Filter menu, choose Noise, Dust and Scratches. In this dialog, I'm going to use a small radius, radius of 1, and I'm going to increase the threshold. The lower the threshold, the fuzzier your photo will be. As I increase the threshold, I increase it until I reach a level where I've removed a lot of the dust and scratches, but I've kept some of the detail. And click OK. Now using the Spot Healing Brush tool, let's just paint over the edges of this photo to get rid of some of those tears on the edges. And let's reduce the size of the brush by pressing the left bracket and paint over this tear right up until just about where it reaches the sleeve. And then we'll also paint over those tears on the other side of the sleeve. And then just click lightly on that sleeve. Let's reduce the size of the brush and paint over this line underneath her eye, the one on her forehead, and the one on her cheek. And while there's still a lot of work to be done on this photo, you've noticed that we have reduced a lot of the dust and scratches and removed some of those tears using that spot healing brush. So we've used the spot healing brush to restore an old photo to remove telephone wires, and also to remove a small object that we don't want in our photo anymore. And because the, the spot healing brush is now content aware, it is more finely tuned to the background and how the healing changes will merge with the photo that you're working on.